Welcome back for our special segment that keeps track of the criminal activities in the city, FIR. The crime scenario in the spotlights again as a 27-year-old Madan was murdered by his rival gang. Reports say that several cases are pending against the victim. And a 38-year-old man, alleged to be a gangster, was killed last night near Tenampet. He is said to have been killed by a gang of six men who came into wheelers. The police are on the lookout for the murderers and a probe is on. On to our crime correspondent Salim for more details on the two murders. History sheeters were murdered in both the cases, be it the Tenambat murder case or the Thiruvatriyur murder case. Say for example, the Tenambat murder case, the victim was a history sheeter. The city police say several cases were pending against him with the city police. Yesterday, he was standing in front of a tea shop and that's when a six-member gang came on three motorcycles and hacked him to death. The body was moved to the Rajiv Gandhi government hospital and after post-mortem examination, it was handed over to the victim's relatives. Sources from the police department say as far as the Thiruvatriyur murder case is concerned, the victim was a history cheater and in fact several cases were pending against him with the Thiruvatriyur and the other police stations in the Chennai city. Uh, his head was crushed with a grinding stone. In both the cases, city police say they suspect a previous enmity to, the, to be the cause of crime and uh, several special teams have been formed to nab the accused persons. Moving on, Chennaiites have just a month and a half left to furnish details of their tenants to the cops. And it does look like Chennaiites are all set to avoid trouble as already 1,500 house owners out of the 6,000 have submitted the details in the East Zone of Chennai. East Chennai Joint Commissioner Sesha Sai has announced April 30th as the last date to submit the forms. Educational institutions have been instructed to keep ready the database of students from other states. This action comes in wake of the Velocheri encounter in which five alleged robbers from the north were killed. Moving on, Lalita Jewellery, known for its dazzling jewels in traditional and avant-garde designs, has stepped into a new avenue and is all set to make a mark in motor trade with its newly launched car showroom in Chennai. A host of VIPs from the automobile industry, including Dilip Chabria, attended the launch of the brand new showroom. The special needs of the customers will be catered by making modifications to suit their needs, says the company. The sports car DC Avanti kept on display caught everyone's attention. The chairman of Lalita Motors confidently assured that Lalita, known for its credibility and designs in jewellery trade, will make a mark in the newly stepped business too. Over for some national news, Mamta Banerjee is keeping the Congress guessing. She now says business in Bengal will keep her away from the swearing-in ceremonies of Prakash Singh Badal and Akhilesh Yadav, but makes it clear she would have liked to attend both events. The budget session in Bengal Assembly begins on the 15th of March, and Mamta Banerjee was to attend Akhilesh's swearing-in ceremony that day. The West Bengal Chief Minister was also meant to be in Chandigarh for Badal's event, a day prior to that. Trinamool Congress leader Derek O'Brien tweeted to say, Just spoke to Mamta Didi, who was keen to make a trip to Chandigarh and Lucknow. But now she'll be in Bengal on the opening day of the assembly. Well, Mamta's absence from these events will be some relief for the Congress, which is trying to play down the issue. But the left has hit out, accusing the Trinamool of flip-flop. Mamta Banerjee is our ally and whenever some chief minister uh, they invite, the chief minister designate invites, they, they are, our polit our political ally, ally going and attending the ceremony, it is not a big issue. We don't, we don't consider it as a, an issue which is a very serious nature. But it is for the political leader to decide. It is for them to decide, that political party to decide. We will not interfere in the decision making of our ally leaders on various issues. Well, it's a, the, the sort of uh, fickleness and the sort of vacillation is something that's not unusual as far as the Trinamool Congress is concerned. Now, you can't be uh, running 
with the hares. I mean, you can't be running with the rabbits and hunting with the hares. I mean, you, can, you can't be doing uh, with the hounds, I mean, running with the hares and hunting with the hounds. You can't be doing that, which is what they're trying to perfect the Trinamool Congress. But then that just can't happen. And in the midst of Mamta's will she, won't she attend the swearing in ceremonies, the murmurs for a third front seem to have got louder, raising the hopes of smaller and regional parties. The left says they are all for strengthening a non-Congress, non-BJP alliance. What happens? We would like to strengthen the non-Congress, non-BJP forces. Sir, non-Congress, non-BJP forces are going with Mamta Banerjee now. Let us see. But you are against the I said non-Congress, non-BJP, non-NDA, non-UPA. Look, the past five days of the Chunao, the impact of the impact of the Delhi has been made. अब उसकी शकल क्या होगी और उस असर का कब नतीजा आएगा ये तारीख नहीं तय की जा सकती और ना ये इसके असर के बारे में बताया जा सकता कि ये तब हो जाएगा ये पहले भी गठबंधन था और अब भी गठबंधन और दो गठबंधन देश में है यूपीए और एनडी Meanwhile, Mayawati has now set her sight on national politics. She has indicated she may shift to Delhi to play a role in national politics. Mayawati may enter parliament through the Rajya Sabha route, given that elections to the Rajya Sabha are to be held later this month. The BSP leader is chairing a meeting of her party's zonal coordinators and MLAs to take stock of how voter confidence has eroded with the party and whether her co-vote, the Dalits, are still with the party or have they begun drifting away too? The BJP uh, parliamentary party met today at senior leader uh, L.K. Advani's house. The meeting was attended by senior leaders like Nitin Gadkari and others. BJP is under understood to have discussed key issues to be raised in the budget session of parliament. That starts tomorrow. Leader of the opposition in Lok Sabha, Sushma Swaraj, has already stated that they will raise the issue of NCTC formation and the alleged damming of Brahmaputra River by China, among others. And ahead of the budget session, the Congress says its allies fully support the government, playing down any trouble with any of its allies. Minister in the PMO assures it won't be difficult to run the House. Our allies are together, we are together, and our allies are fully supporting our government. Not only that, on issues, we will sit with them, we will talk to them, we will try to see reason for everything. And therefore, I don't think that there will be any difficulty for us to run the house and carry the business of the house because budget session is very important. It is all the financial bills have to be passed. Therefore, the opposition parties also will understand the, that you know, budget is a very important uh, the, uh, the area where they have to uh, support the government. Two days after the Congress staked claim to form the next government in Uttarakhand, there seems to be suspense as to who will be the next chief minister. A formal announcement is expected soon. There are many frontrunners for the chief minister's post. So to say, Harish Rawat is the frontrunner, but the final decision has been left to the Congress president, Sonia Gandhi, who has a tight rope to walk. केवल सरकार के गठन पे ही नहीं, बल्कि उसके बाद की भी जो चुनौतियां सरकार के सामने आने वाली हैं, पुलट के लाने वाली हैं, वहाँ पे क्या सीन होगा, सरकार कैसे चलेगी, क्या इश्यूज़ हैं, राज्यसभा का नॉमिनेशन होना है, तो कई इश्यूज़ पर हमने सरकार को मांगी है और हम लोगों ने अपना अपना व्यू पॉइंट